Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Gallywix showing off why he is continually one of the best heroes at the highest of MMR ranges. Because if you are flexible and you're capable of taking advantage of tons of different lines, there's almost always an avenue to come back in a game. And Gallywix always has that inevitability factor. If you live long enough, Gallywix starts ramping up gold. Get cards like Bran, cards like Reef Explorer, Primal Fin, Tavern Tempest, etc., etc., etc. They just print positive gold, two, three, four at a time. And then suddenly, instead of in the middle of the game having 10 gold, 12 gold, 15 gold, now you have 20, 25, 30. That turns into 30, 35, 40. And you see where this is going. It's basically an APM build built into a hero. And yeah, you can almost always find a way to turn 40 gold into a win. Turns out having four turns in one turn, it's pretty good. All right, enjoy. You ever take a pair of this turn? Sell off a bunch of shit? Oh, I was talking about Sneed, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Sell four, take pair. That would leave us with five gold extra next turn. We could sell off Myrmidon, double buy from Tavern, go to four. Pretty good. You on three? What are you doing, Flurgle? Flurgle? Skinner? Flurgle? Flurgle, you piece of shit. Uh. Next turn's worth a lot more health than this turn. Here we hold one blood, Jim. Why are you still on two on seven gold, bro? Tripling into a three. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Close. Go right. Oh, it's a coin flip for the tie. What, what are we fighting? Why are we fighting a dude on Tavern 2? Tripling into a 3 star on 7 gold. What are you trying to accomplish, son? <laughs> I see. I guess we don't level. I was going to level. We can take shifter and stay down instead. Four seems really good. Oh, these are bad. Yeah, kind of. Are they really that bad? Not you. Then we can just hold the blood gym for the turn. Use it next turn. Yeah, leveling's a big mistake if you take the shifter. And the other option is to do nothing effectively in level. 
It's one of the two. Don't do both of them. We play toward triple and or shifter out this way and maintain health. If you do it the opposite way, that's fine. Level, but don't take the shifter. Unfortunately, all the minions in the shop sucked. So like, I don't want to do that. Those minions were terrible. Look at all his one stars. Isn't this board just like awesome? So many ones. Lovely. Thanks, Bobby. The Lapers. Find our way on Tavern 4. We're hard committed now. Gotta go Leaf Frogger. Yeah, we got a little bit of a, a problem here. We have one pair. We have one extra gold next turn. We don't really have direction at the moment. We are one of the weaker heroes in the game. We should check this guy's taunt status. We oftentimes will just lead with Snail Cavalry now. Because it value trades the taunt. But this can give us direction, or we can find four stars that generate gold. Picking up Swolfin wasn't a bad pickup in the middle of the game because we need to get an entry point into Murlocs most of the time as Gallywix anyway. Is Swolfin an ideal version of a minion? No, but its upside compared to the rest of the minions is, is reasonable, it's tolerable, right? The other things were like, do you want to give a taunt? Not really. Doesn't sound very strong. Yo, Betzel Barry, with the three months, my dude. Thank you so much for the support. You got a Calicos. I'm sorry for your loss of your six star. That's quite unfortunate. <laughs> Good round for us. Triples into a six, gets a garbage thing. Oh good, road boar too. That one's useful. Dude, I'm taking this pair. Fuck it. We only have a couple blood gems used. We don't really need to play toward this yet. Alright, game. I'm on four. Alright. Something. Excuse me. Could have held this for one additional turn. Was an option too. In hindsight, I think I like that better. I regret my decision. Should have just played the gyms first. Held this for later. These are totally going to be triples next turn. We're totally going to get something. I believe. It's a Zerus pair. True. We could have another thing. All right, it's not going to be a two star next turn. It'll be a one star instead. All right, coin flippies. How about we just kill this baby crush right now? Just save me all the heartache in the world. No, 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 the baby crush. There you go, little tough tusk. That's my boy right there. That's my son. I'm proud of you. So tough. That's right. That's my boy. 
Yeah, Top Tusk never gets any... <laughs> it's not a two-star this time. Never gets any love. He gets the pets. Shifter. That's the triple I wanted. I'm not complaining. It is a triple. It's definitely a five this game. Yeah. Murrow Knight. Seven. Gross. No brand. No beast entry point. Just nothing. We don't want anything but baby crush there, so. Looks like a knight. All right, game. I guess I have to play quicker, huh? All right, game. We're totally gonna do something next turn. <laughs> it sure as hell is in this turn. Ah, uh, why? Not even that great of a triple. Not without Bran. Next turn. This is Bran into something being useful. Let's do it. Our shifter, not paying out. Obviously, we've invested a lot in the shifter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Digging a six star and hitting is is good, turns out. Good try. Good hustle. Good hustle too. You guys, I you saw the pets last time into the baby crush and you're like, I want to pet it this game. Please appreciate me. I I appreciate the hustle. All you guys hitting the baby crush, you were just a little bit too small. Shifter, what the fuck? Easiest game of my life. Actually, I'm leveling now. Yeah, here. I don't have enough time for this damn turn. Yeah, your shifter. Do we die? Push it frozen. Oh, these are terrible. Miss Megasar. Damn. Where's the Megasar when you needed it? That cleave sucked. Want to keep Golden Primal Pin from the Murkai? Just too weak. 
Like, we played a lot of things in that turn. We had a lot of things to cycle. I'm looking for stats and moving quickly. All right, these are not things. All right, game. All right, game. If we could go back and think about what would be absolutely optimal. I'm not sure if we had the gold at the time at any point where we could have tried to keep that. It is very hard to gauge. All right, game. All right, game. Oh my god, one buff. We did it. Just what I was looking for. I should have held that till the end. Hey, look, better things. Pad cycle. That one's better. putting everything on the board. You know, I freeze in two things for that. 25 gold next turn. I think Bofer did something suboptimal this stream. Yeah. I think I probably screwed up somewhere. You really wanted to kill that brand, huh? I respect it. The brand's intimidating. And I really wish we didn't have the world's longest combat here. As this thing procs like Jim Splitter on everything. I think he's still tipping, probably. <laughs> People love their gyms or tavern tippers. Oh no, not the Sneed. Damn. How did that not pan out? No. I don't think it's ever Seth in here. I don't think we're going anywhere. Yeah, probably just taking the stats. It's a nice board. Do this one first. Then we'll discover. Then we'll get what we don't need. And then we can look here for this triple. Divine shield's good. A gurgle triple potentially. Would be a nice permanent minion to leave on the board. Take a look at you guys before we make any more decisions. The fuck are these shops? Great shops. Alright, apparently I sold that or grabbed that. my Swolfen? Why can't it ever be Swolfen? Think we need it? Yeah. You can freeze for that. Net positive. Nice job, Leroy. Well done, sir. All right. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. We lethaled him. We got it. 
scary. Need this done doing 20 some damage to people. We're gonna commit our resources. Dude, the Calico's got top four. Honestly, this is just like, he's living the high life. I'm gonna look for ghoul, play through stats, and that's about it. All right, there's the ghoul. So there's no real reason to keep the Leroy. Leroy over here. Paying his weight in gold. These aren't things. Whoops, did not realize I had two of those in hand. Second Murkai, we're gonna get the dream this turn. We got it, chat. Triple Murkai. Never dream. Never lucky. You ever keep Bran? I mean, we might just keep Bran because of the stats in the Begurgle. It's our cleave protection, too. Could reborn a Coiler, though, right? Like, that's the better play. You can sell through for Reborn, seems better. I agree. The stats are good, though. Keep Brand to establish dominance. Indeed. That was the... Honestly, the dominance play is just the play. <laughs> Alright, well, that was looking scary for a second. And then, all of a sudden, we found a couple things, and then Gallywix wins the game from his hero power. He hasn't been tipping? Oh my god. That's why I lost. He should have kept tipping. That's nah, actually a really good George board. Like, that's a solid, very solid George game. George is tough to play in this meta because games are too fast. Like, turn 13 dying like this. He got online quickly. He played two gigantic cleave and divine shields on his shit. Like, that's a very good board for George. This guy got got top three off a of Calico Striffle. And that Maev was definitely the second strongest person in the lobby. Good game. Good shit, good shit. Hey, what's up, Happy Madison? How's it going?